Hey, it's Kelly. Welcome back to my channel where we talk all about gentle skincare, sometimes self-care, and today we're talking skincare without hyaluronic acid. Hyaluronic acid seems to be like in everything, especially if the product is claiming hydration. It seems like some form of hyaluronic acid is in it, right? It goes by many different names. I'm gonna put them on the screen right now. And this video is really a sister video to the Hydrate Without Hyaluronic Acid skincare routine that I posted back in the summer so check that out if you need even more picks um, these are new ones there's very little overlap here um, but hopefully you'll find something in here if you're looking to avoid hyaluronic acid if you're so ready give the video a big thumbs up and let's jump right in so first up, Etude House Soon Jung Relief Toner. I really like this toner because, and I love recommending it, I think because the texture is so universal. I think a majority of skin types are gonna enjoy it. It's really thin and watery. It's quickly absorbed. It's not sticky, it's not thick. It's something that you could layer onto your skin a couple of times without building up like a, a thick layer onto your skin. You know, some thicker toners can get a little sticky, a little thick after you put it on, like, you know, a little generously. It doesn't always feel great. This is so watery and quickly absorbed that even the most oily skin I think will enjoy, even dry skin types will enjoy it. It really um, just feels very light and refreshing on the skin, but with a good amount of hydration. And you know, the humectants here are working really hard. We have glycerin, which you're gonna notice in a lot of the products today because glycerin is an amazing humectant for the skin. It really hydrates beautifully and it's very common. It's easy to formulate with um, a majority of skin types tolerate it super well and it's very barrier supportive as well it just doesn't get the attention and the accolades like hyaluronic acid does so whenever you see glycerin on the list which you're going to see a lot it's always a goodie now this toner is also using a polysaccharide ingredient called betaine so it's a sugar molecule that really helps to hold hydration and deliver it deep into the skin and that's how they're getting that really beautiful refreshing humectant hydration into the skin with this toner without hyaluronic hyaluronic acid without a thicker texture. It just feels really, really good. And like I said, uh, this is one of my favorite toners to recommend because like the success rate with this, I think is going to be very high for a majority of folks. It just feels great on the skin. Now let's talk about the Anua Heart Leaf Soothing Toner. This is uh, gaining a lot of popularity in the skincare world. And I totally understand why, because heart leaf is one of my favorite ingredients, not only for a soothing, calming effect on the skin, it's a great anti-inflammation ingredient. It is great. Um, it's an antibacterial ingredient as well. And that's what makes it so good for helping to gently clarify the skin. It's really good if you are congestion prone or acne prone. But then we've also got really great humectants in here, glycerin and betaine. But then we also have panthenol. And I love this ingredient because not only does it help to bring hydration into the skin, it's actually a skin barrier supportive ingredient. Panthenol aids your moisture barrier by helping um, to support the lipid layer in your skin. That's what holds the hydration in is those lovely, lovely lipids. And I love that panthenol is a juicy, watery, plumping type of ingredient that supports the lipid layer rather than those really emollient, creamy, rich and nourishing types of ingredients that are barrier supportive. It's a, a lighter, uh, more hydrating approach to barrier care. So I always like to see panthenol in my hydrating products. And so this comes together in a really nice, Again, watery, thin, lightweight type of texture that I think is gonna work for a majority of skin types. So we have to talk about I'm from Rice Toner because this is, I think at this point, a cult status a type of product in the K-beauty world. It is incredibly popular. So many folks love it. And it happens to bring a beautiful balance of hydration and moisture into the skin without using hyaluronic acid. And you know, um, we've got some great humectants in here, but I really wanna focus in on rice extract because because it is such an interesting ingredient that really helps to condition the skin. And that's one of the um, benefits of hyaluronic acid that I think does not get mentioned as much is like it has a little bit of like a skin um, softening, uh, skin smoothing type of effect. It has a kiss of moisture to it. You know, it's always touted as being a very hydrating humectant ingredient because hyaluronic acid kind of like grabs and, and attracts water into the skin, right? Um, but you 
you know, hyaluronic acid centric products tend to have a thicker feel to them, a slightly moisturizing feel to them. And I think that you can achieve a similar quality without the thickness with rice extract because it does have this balance between a lightness and just a kiss of moisture. It really makes your skin feel super duper like baby butt soft, which I absolutely love. But it also brings brightness into the skin. It's a natural antioxidant. It's full of what I call skin nutrition. Lots of vitamins, minerals, amino acids that really help um, overall with skin health. And it's this really beautiful, watery, but milky type of toner. And it, it brings those two qualities together. The light, um, refreshing hydration, and just that little kiss of moisture, just leaving your skin really silky soft. I think a lot of different skin types will enjoy adding this into their skincare routine. It is not an overwhelming or greasy type of toner. It's not thick. It's not sticky. It doesn't uh, feel feel too heavy. It really does absorb into the skin quickly in a nice light refreshing layer with just that hint of moisture. And over time, as you continue to use this, you might notice a improvement in your complexion. So like an overall evenness to skin tone. And I think it really does bring out that healthy glow. Now, if you like a little bit more body to your hydrating products, let me suggest the I'm from Mugwort Essence. I love this because it is such a simple ingredients list. I mean, it is just mugwort. That's a little bit of water. There's some preservatives in here, but this is what's considered a single extract essence. So they're really just using one extract, one star ingredient to really give you all of the benefits. They're using a high quantity in this essence, but don't be fooled. We definitely have created here a, a shelf stable product that's not going to go bad on you the moment you open it. There are preservatives in here and that's a good thing. But what I love about this essence is, okay, number one, mugwort is an amazing ingredient. You know, it is very soothing. A lot of people uh, go towards mugwort for soothing irritation. That's how I uh, first started to fall in love with the ingredient is it was so soothing and calming and just that like, ah, uh, my skin feels so much better type of ingredient. But you can see that there's a little bit of a fullness to the texture here. And you absolutely feel that in your skin as you um, pat it in. It's very hydrating. It's watery. It's quickly absorbed. But there's just that little bit of plumpness. It's like, ooh, yeah, I love that plump feeling, especially when you want to build lots of hydration. But without hyaluronic acid, I think you might want to look for some of those more bodied type of products. This is one of them. But it's also really great for soothing the skin as well. We're on a roll with I'm From, so let's continue with the I'm From Mushroom Collagen Ampule. Now, this is a really interesting product because it's using snow mushroom extract, and snow mushroom actually has very similar properties to hyaluronic acid, which we've kind of already covered, right? Its ability to kind of attract and bind hydration into the skin. Snow mushroom extract is an alternative ingredient that does that exact same thing for the skin. It binds and, and, and traps that hydration into the skin. It's got that big plumping molecule to it as well. So if you've ever really loved that benefit of hyaluronic acid, but for whatever reason, you're just not into that ingredient, this is a fantastic alternative. Um, it is very skin conditioning, very skin hydrating. And this ampule is really interesting because it does walk the line between plumping, refreshing hydration, um, and a little bit more moisture, a little bit more than the I'm from rice toner. You can see that there are quite a few emollient ingredients in here. There's shea butter. There's a couple of different forms of oil, but they have balanced it out uh, to be light moisture. You know, just looking at the ingredients, you might expect a very heavy, very creamy emollient thick serum. But as you see, it's actually more of a refreshing, uh, emulsion-y gel type texture. You can really see the plumpness and the hydration as you first get it out of the dropper. Uh, you can definitely tell that this is going to plump up and hydrate your skin. But as it um, absorbs and dives deep into the skin to replenish the hydration, as it's absorbing in and drying down, that top layer on the skin just feels really softened, smoothed, conditioned, and just that little bit of moisture that really helps to hug in that deeper hydration into the skin. So I do um, really describe this as like a medium type of serum. It's not super lightweight and thin, but it's not so creamy and heavy and rich either. It's really nicely in the middle. And as I said, balanced is a great word for this. It really balances out a lot of plumping hydration with just that kiss of moisture. They really keep those emollient ingredients kind of in the background, but they're meaningful enough to really hug everything in. Now, if you're looking for more alternative ingredients, 
ingredients to hyaluronic acid, you need to know about beta glucan. So this is the iUnique Beta Glucan Power Moisture Serum. And as you can see from the ingredients, it's very minimal, very simple, and very focused on getting beta glucan into the skin. Now this is an ingredient that can be derived from mushrooms or oat, and it is an ingredient that has that similar property of taking that hydration and really binding it deep into the skin, it has that plumping quality to it. But it actually has a few other benefits to it as well that make it great for a multitude of skin concerns. It's great for wound healing, which means that it is um, very good if you do suffer with acne and you need some healing, the skin is peeling or broken or really, really dry and rough. Beta-glucan can kind of help with that healing process. If you have any like cuts on your face, beta-glucan is going to help to facilitate that healing process on the skin. It's skin repairing, it's skin soothing, it is a conditioning, so it softens the skin at the top, but also very hydrating. And it may have some well aging properties too. You know, beta-glucan is something that is still, we're still kind of discovering the benefits of what this ingredient can do. So, um, you know, always take it with a grain of salt when you hear about studies, because they're usually quite small, right? Um, but there are some studies that are suggesting that beta-glucan can help with uh, the look of fine lines and wrinkles on the skin. And that may be due to its ability to really hydrate and plump the skin, which is actually similar to hyaluronic acids benefits for well aging. A lot of people use hyaluronic acid for plumping out fine lines and wrinkles. And you can see um, with this texture here, we have that more medium weight plumping, a little bit thicker gel texture to this serum. And so this is absolutely something that is really going to make your skin um, look and feel a lot firmer, a lot smoother, just from that deep plumping hydration that it's delivering to the skin. And that can go a long way to improving the look, as I mentioned before, a fine lines and wrinkles. Don't discount just hydrating the skin. Um, that can actually really help make your skin look a lot more smooth and a lot more youthful over time. But it has um, some really great vitamins and minerals for the skin, wound healing abilities, skin soothing abilities, skin softening abilities. So overall, a really good goodie ingredient, right? And in this serum, you're getting a very good amount. Next up, Marion May ID Benone Blackberry Complex Serum. Now, ID Benone is a very potent antioxidant ingredient that is really fantastic to help protect your skin from environmental stressors, pollution, um, UV damage, right? We know that antioxidants can be a really helpful, supportive ingredient for just healthy skin in general, but of course, for a well aging journey, definitely antioxidants have their place. I think that they it's like a mix between their their benefits are overblown and they're ignored a little bit too much in favor of the biggies like retinol and vitamin C. And I honestly think that um, antioxidants are a great supportive ingredient for anybody's skincare routine just because they're so protective for the skin. But they are um, often, like I said, touted for their anti-aging abilities because that protection from the sun, that's one extra layer of something that's not damaging our skin or prematurely aging it. And same goes for, you know, pollution and our environment as well. Those can really stress out and test our skin. They can um, weaken our moisture barrier over time. Uh, they can weaken the collagen structure over time. These are all things that um, build up over time and contribute to the look of the skin. And it absolutely can, um, you know, detract from more youthful looking skin, which I think is a goal many people have. Next up is the V Green Nature Mucin Serum. Now the star ingredient here is yam root extract, which is considered a phytomucin. Now, where do we know the word mucin from? Snail mucin, right? The more famous mucin in the skincare world. And we know that snail mucin is so amazing for hydrating the skin, for bringing a little bit of moisture, really plumping it out. But it's also well known for having a whole host of um, abilities for the skin, like wound healing. It has um, lots of vitamins and minerals and peptides and all like goodies really for the skin. It's an antioxidant. So it is multi-benefit. It's very hydrating and very plumping. And it's often um, something that is suggested a lot for that gentle, well-aging routine. Well, phytomucin just means that it's a mucin that's derived from a plant. The mucin is derived from wild yam extract in this case. You can actually extract mucins from different vegetables. Um, but the yam um, extract has a really good um, profile quite similar to snail. 
nail. Um, it, it is an antioxidant. It does really plump up the skin. It's incredibly hydrating. It's barrier supportive. It can help with a skin healing. So it has a lot of really great benefits to it. They're not just relying on the phytomucin content, but they've also added in peptides. Some of my favorite peptides for well aging, including copper tripeptide one, they're using matrixyl as well as the uh, duo of peptides that makes up matrixyl 3000. And we have acetyl hexapeptide eight. I really like this one, not only as an alternative to hyaluronic acid, but as I mentioned, an alternative to snail mucin as well. Now I already talked about all the great benefits of glycerin. If you were interested in getting some more of that in a moisturizer product, this is the Geek and Gorgeous Hydration Station Moisturizer, which uses 6% of glycerin. So as I mentioned, it is an incredible skin hydrator, but I think one of the things that impresses me the most about glycerin is its ability to create a um, reservoir uh, of, of hydration in the skin. And basically what that means is that glycerin helps your skin stay hydrated over over time as you continue to use it in your um, routines it helps to maintain hydration in your skin even when you're not using the products the glycerin in your routine it helps to maintain those skin hydration levels over a longer period of time and so you get this really refreshing cooling very hydrating sensation with your moisturizer that dives in really deep replenishes the skin plumps it up but then we're getting that traditional uh, kind of cream right on top it's still very light it's very breathable it's not overly occlusive either um, that really just gently hugs everything in and just kind of like slugs everything in and just holds the rest of your skincare in place while still allowing everything to breathe. This moisturizer I think is better for a combination and oily skin folks. If you're a little bit more leaning towards the dry side, it may not be enough for you, but if you're looking for that really refreshing plumping uh, type of moisturizer, especially if you ever love those hyaluronic acid cream gel types of products, but for whatever reason, again, it's an ingredient that's not for you. This is a really great alternative to that type of product. Now, if you are a little bit more leaning towards the dry side, I would suggest the Cetaphil Moisturizing Cream. This is a great drugstore find that I think is a fantastic hyaluronic acid-free competitor to CeraVe Moisturizing Cream. I happen to love both of these creams, but if you do want to avoid hyaluronic acid, check out this Cetaphil Cream because they are using glycerin and panthenol um, to really get that hydrating um, element into the moisturizer, but then they're balancing it out with some more emollient ingredients. There's sunflower and sweet almond oils in here. And then the occlusivity factor with dimethicone and petrolatum. And that's what really helps to seal everything in. Love this cream texture. It's a little bit balmy, but it still feels um, breathable on the skin. My skin does lean a little bit more dry. And so when I say breathable, I mean more for dry skin. Um, but it feels great because it's, it's nourishing, but you can feel the hydration in here. It's not a very rich, buttery, heavy, overly emollient type of cream. It still um, balances between that hydration and that moisture in a really good, um, uh, like an equal amount. It's just that, that occlusivity that helps to seal everything in that really just like, it's like that icing on the cake uh, for those who are a little bit more dry, a little more dehydration prone. Now I really love the Goodall Heart Leaf Calming Sun Cream. It's SPF 50, uh, PA plus four. It contains uh, four different chemical filters to achieve that protection. I just love this sunscreen. Um, pretty much ever since I first started using it a couple of years ago, I fell in love with it because it is a very protective, very comfy type of sunscreen and it's light. It's more of that like cream gel gel type of sunscreen uh, texture rather than like a lotion or a traditional straight cream texture. It's not heavy. It's not overly moisturizing. It's one of those few sunscreens that I would describe as I can put it on my face and forgot and forget that I put it on because it's not like something that's reminding me that it's like on my face, like it's heavy, it's super greasy, or like it's making my skin kind of itchy or my eyes sting or it's pilling. Like it's just kind of like that really nice, light, refreshing texture that doesn't weigh my skin down and doesn't cause any issues with white casts or pilling or eye sting or itchy irritated skin like I just love the formula I just love the texture I love this product and it just so happens that it doesn't contain hyaluronic acid which seems to be creeping into quite a few different sunscreens these days have you noticed just from that standpoint ingredients wise like it really checks out but like I just love this for the performance I just love this for the texture and how it feels on my skin so I like am happy to wholeheartedly
wholeheartedly recommend this sunscreen that just happens to not include those ingredients. J. Jun Okra Phytomucin Jelly Mask. And I wanted to mention this because you may be looking for a really hydrating, plumping, masking type of product. And this is that. It is so refreshing and cooling on the skin. I mean, not only is this great for a hydrating wash off mask when you just kind of want to replenish your skin, but it's actually a fantastic after sun product too. If you've gotten a little bit too much sun, your skin is feeling a little stressed out from a little bit too much UV, it needs to cool down, it needs to be replenished. It needs needs a little bit of babying, but you're not looking for heavy creams and things like that, right? This is the perfect mask. So I hope you enjoyed this lineup of some of my favorite products that happen to not have hyaluronic acid in them. And I am curious, would you like me to do a version of this video for niacinamide free products? Because I know that's, as I mentioned, another big concern for a lot of folks. Let me know in the comments below. Now, if this video helped you out, gave you some hyaluronic acid free picks for your skincare routine, but you haven't hit subscribe yet, please. I would be so honored if you would come join our community and turn on notifications so you're never out of the loop. I love you so, so much. Thanks for being here with me today. I hope you are healthy, happy, and safe, and I'll talk to you in the next video. Bye.